Hello again, my name is Gabe Zola. This is the 30th of March, 2018. Just read a rather interesting article, watched a rather interesting little video. It was put up March the 22nd, 2018, by Sean Hannity. The final days, new footage shows Vegas madman eating stocking room with guns. There's a video you want to take a look at. Now, there's nothing that you're going to see in the video that I think is unusual. Other than you'll see Stephen Paddock, I assume it's him, and he's bringing luggage up to his room. I've got a different theory which I'll talk about in a moment. Recently released footage from the MGM hotel chain shows Las Vegas mass murderer Stephen Paddock's final days, drinking, gambling, and eating, while calmly amassing his lethal arsenal under the radar of both staff and thousands of tourists. Question I have is why? Why would he need 26 different weapons? Hmm? Paddock appears casually dressed throughout the surveillance videos as he wanders the halls and elevators of the Mandalay Bay the Resort and Casino on the Las Vegas Strip, frequently bringing bags and large suitcases into a suite. While it's unclear what's contained in Paddock's baggage, it's likely multiple guns and thousands of rounds of ammunition used in his deadly rampage. The faces of the hotel guests and staff are blurred to preserve their privacy, reducing them to smudges that crisscrosses the screen at random. Mr. Paddock is the only person who appears throughout, writes the New York Times, who published the footage online. Investigators are still struggling to determine Paddock's motives behind the attack, randomly firing a self-modified semi-automatic rifle into a crowd of festival goers below and killing 58 people. Alright, so his self-modified semi-automatic rifle, how did he modify it? With bump stocks? I didn't see any bump stocks, did you? Now, I can understand someone being out of their minds and wanting to go on this rampage and bringing up five or six guns, but 26 guns makes less than zero sense. The footage that you're going to see isn't anything unusual. What is unusual is the layout of the room. And I've done videos on this. The holes that were created in those windows were approximately 50 feet apart. Every one of those windows, I believe, is four and a half feet in width. It makes zero sense that he would have done that versus breaking windows at the corners. That way he could shoot in that direction and that direction. It makes less than zero sense that he was running back and forth. So what's that say? Well, it says there's multiple shooters. Why do I say that? Well, the health ranger produced a rather interesting video. And what he did is he broke down the sound of gunfire. Not only did we have overlapping firing of weapons, we also had machine gun fire, not bump stock fire, machine gun fire at different locations. Now is it possible that he was set up to run guns? Is it possible that's why he had 26 guns? And is it possible that he was a patsy not knowing that they were going to eliminate him. Now I've made mention of this in previous videos as well. You'll see a snippet of him laying on the floor with his left leg underneath an AR which appears to be either a 15 or a 10. It could never be. His leg could never be in that position. It's impossible to, unless that AR was placed over his leg. There was also another photograph that I saw that showed him laying on his back. You saw his head and you saw his arms straight down at his side 
And the gun that he supposedly used to kill himself with, a pistol, was about three feet behind his head. That's also impossible. If he were to put the gun here, the gun would fall there. It wouldn't fall back there. Folks, we'll probably never learn the truth, but it didn't happen the way they said it happened. It just didn't happen that way. And that sheriff, he felt and acted like he was a cat on a hot tin roof with that FBI agent staring at him as he was doing his press conferences. It didn't happen the way they said it happened. I don't think you can hear the video of the Health Ranger because he was taken off of YouTube. If it's out there, find it if you can. He did an excellent job breaking down the sound. Multiple locations and without a doubt actual machine gun fire. That's why they came up with that bullshit story about the bump stock. You can't fire it with any kind of accuracy at all because the gun's doing what it is. You know? I've shot a bump stock. I've shot a modified trigger that the gun acts like a full automatic. You can't aim it. You yeah, just hang on to it. Folks, the holes in the windows make less than zero sense. He's not running back and forth 50 feet to shoot people. He could have been set up. He could have been selling guns. Thought he was going to put together a deal for those guns. Do we know where he bought those guns? Do we know where he got his ammunition? There's a lot that we don't know. And we probably never will know. No different than we don't know the truth about Sandy Hook. Adam Lanza? Come on, folks. It's all bullshit designed to take away our Second Amendment. They keep trying, and they're not going to give up. Watch the video. There's nothing there that I see that's incriminating. Zero. What I do see helps me realize it didn't happen the way they said it happened. Thanks for listening.